1KB Nation, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ryan, and in today's video, I want to give you a walk through of how to lay blocks. Here we're building a shed, and I want to give you a walk through step by step. If this is your first time, I promise you by the end of this video, you will learn how to lay a block. You can take on a little small project around your house, or you can even take it up as a trade and go out there and make some money. All right, so we're gonna start by spreading our mortar. First, we're gonna put up our line, spread our mortar, then we're gonna install our block. This is gonna be a short video, and it's gonna be loaded with lots of useful tips and tricks as we go. Let's dive into it. Okay, so we're gonna start down here by putting up our line, using a string line here as a gauge or as a guide, just to maintain the straightness. Let me go and get a piece of block. I'm just gonna put this right in the corner here. I'm gonna go down at the other end now to raise up my line. Alright, so bring the line right up. You wanna get it right to the hedge you wanna. Alright, so I'm gonna start to spread my mortar. The trick of spreading your mortar is to have the right consistency. As you see here I have mayonnaise peanut butter consistency. As you go you wanna keep storing. Store your mortar. Always try to keep a nice clean board. Store your mortar. Keep a nice clean shovel as well. You like that to clean your shovel and get out. Now we're gonna take up a good amount and we're gonna shake it. I shake it so that way I can get the gravity. If I turn it upside down, it won't fall off. Now I shake it, I'm just gonna go over. We're gonna position the tip of the shovel here. We're gonna start run, put up our hand high and slowly go down like this with my hand. You're gonna see as I go. See? Up, down. So I go start up, then I go down. I just keep repeating the same process. Again, up, down. Now we're gonna come over this other side now. Same thing. Up, down. Remember, to, remember as you go, you shake your hand to get the gravity. I go up and I slide it down. It's pretty straightforward. Don't expect you're gonna get it right away the first time you try. You might have it fall off a few times. But practice to become perfect. I didn't learn this trade in one day. Don't be too hard on yourself. Be patient with yourself. Tell yourself if Ryan do it, you can do it as well. Okay, so now we, we spread all of our blocks. We're gonna start to lay block from down there. We're gonna butter the face of our block. It's the same procedure, take up some water and a towel, shake it, just to get the gravity. And now we're gonna, we're gonna butter the hedge of our block. So I'm gonna go the same way, up, down, shake again, just like that. Now we're gonna start to lay our block. Okay, the way you want to lay your block, you want to try to get the bottom of the block right here to the hedge of this block here. And afterwards, you bring the, the top over to the line. So I'm trying to match the bottom with the existing block that's already there. Once I get it there, once I get it down, I try to bang it over right to the line. stay a fraction away from your line just a fraction away same result try to match the bottom first the existing one that's already there take up your model that way you see what you're doing now that the model is clear it's telling me that the bottom want to go out so in order to get the bottom out you have to top here down, so we're tapping it that way, that's the bottom go out. So you want to come in back, tap it in a little bit. Once you, you fix the bottom, you go back up top, make sure the top, all the space should be equal right beside the line. Should be of the same space. Okay, 
the filling light joint here. I'm going to go to another block here again. Remember, if you don't shake it, it will fall off. So don't forget that you need to shake it in order to get the gravity. to our block again shake now whole block up two sides to it here we have a smooth side and here we have a rough side you always want to turn the rough side down same procedure we start from the bottom when you put in down your block you wanna you want to put it down with too much pressure because if you put it down with too much pressure it's going to sink the mortar and then you're going to have to take it up again and if you're laying a heavy block trust me it's not going to be fun to lay them and have to remove them again so you want to slowly put your block down just so that way it doesn't sink and you have to remove it and do it over again I need to knock this over so I lift it up to take some of the pressure the weight off of it. There's several ways to button your block. Just have to play around and you see I'm flipping the line just to make sure that my block is not touching onto the line. I want to have the line free at all times. And it's important for you to maintain your band. Now the way you maintain your band is to, as you see we have the middle of the blocks here, the center of the block. That's where you wanna have your full block line up whenever you lay in your block. That way you know that you're on band. You always wanna have the full block in the half of the block so that way, we call it a running band. So you wanna have it center in the center of the block at all times, the joint. You see how I hold the block, I put one finger over here, one over here. That way I just go over it like this. I just look to make sure that the bottom is flush with this existing one that's already there. Clear my mother, that way I can see what I'm doing. Catch the drop mother to bottom my next block. And guys, if you get involved from this video so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming video like this one. I promise you won't regret it. And this channel will give lots of useful tips for beginners and also home homeowners who can't afford to pay a trade man to come and do their job. Make sure that you're not touching the line. I have a few different way how I bought my blocks. I'm going to take a 
bottom first. Exactly right, I'm on the block your bike so long. Yeah. <laughs> Second, like, exactly, I'm on the block your bike. I'm going to measure everything. Like I said, you have to practice to become perfect. Don't be too hard on yourself. If Ryan do it, you can do it too. All right, will this one fit? This is the last one that's gonna go in now. Will this one fit? Wow! So that tells you that you have a perfect band. The band is perfect. Near the bottom, so that way we can see what we're doing. It's important to make sure that both of them, is, when, you, when you clear it, both of them, not you're not getting any in a box, like they're not bucking onto each other. Or any bumps. Okay hey guys, well there you have it. Hope you get value from this video. If you do get value from this video, go ahead and give your boy Ryan a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more upcoming video like this one. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Don't go away, one, watch one of those videos. Or one of those videos. Pretty sure you'll learn something. Be safe out there. Peace out.